Hey guys, welcome back to Engineering Education. Um, for this next circuit, we have an operational amplifier circuit. Here we have a simple topology um, with an input voltage of 2.828 cosine omega t. So now we're dealing with, um, with time variant signals here. Uh, we're not given any information on what omega is, and we're not given the a specific voltage at a certain time. We're just given uh, that be in, and we're asked to find the output voltage in RMS. So um, say we have a meter at the output of this op amp, um, an RMS meter, uh, what would that meter read? Um, and we have two resistors here, uh, R1 is 500K, and the feedback resistor R2 is 250K. And so, uh, pause the video, uh, try to solve the circuit on your own, and um, we'll, we'll come up with the answer in a bit. So this circuit should jump out at you as being a inverting amplifier. And if you don't remember the relationship between the output voltage and the input voltage of an inverting amplifier, that's okay, because the those formulas and this topology, along with the the non-inverting amplifier uh, formulas and topologies, they're all going to be included in the FE uh, reference manual that you will be allowed to use on your exam. And so, if you look at uh, if you look through that reference manual, uh, you'll come across the the relationship, and that ends up being that V out for an uh, inverting amplifier is minus R2, feedback resistor, divided by R1, the input resistor, multiplied by Vn. Now, the problem specifically asks us to find uh, the output voltage in RMS. So what we're going to do here is we're going to turn Vn into RMS. And the way we would do that is by taking the peak voltage here, that's 2.828 volts. Um, so that's this guy here, that's the peak. And we're going to divide it by the square root of 2. And uh, when you do that, we'll get the, the RMS value. So Vn RMS is equal to 2.828 divided by the square root of 2, and that's 2 volts. Again, that's 2 volts RMS. Okay, and now we can rewrite um, the equation above um, for V out um, in terms of RMS, right? So V out RMS is equal to negative R2 over R1 times, now we have the VRMS, or VNRMS, and now we can plug in the values here. So we have um, V out RMS equal to minus 250K divided by 500K times uh, Vn RMS, which is 2. And when we do that, 250 divided by 500 gives us a half. So 1 half times 2 gives us negative 1. Negative 1 volts. But because this is an RMS meter that's reading the, the output voltage here, um, RMS stands for root mean squared. So um, you can't have any negative values, so we will just drop the the negative here, and V out RMS is going to be one volt, and that's what we got. All right, um, did you guys get that? Um, if you did, let me know in the comments below. Um, give the video a like if if you found it useful, or, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, enjoy engineering.